Welcome to the Chronicles of Ares 101, Part 3, The Dragons of Ares. Thousands of years ago, before the Titans of Ares, the Amordrin, walked the face of the realm, the eternal miasma of magic which we call Aether gave rise to living beasts and creatures great and small. A few of these creatures were vicious, cruel, and cunning. Ogres, trolls, and dragons too. In Ares, wild dragons are ancient and exceedingly rare, making their homes deep underground in the caverns of Holdrafar, which stretch far and wide under the surface of the continent. Their intelligence is a primal one. Rumor has it that they can speak the tongues of men, elves, and dwarves, but they have no desire in the will to build and create, only a penchant for cruelty, vanity, and a burning greed to hoard gold and riches, as dragons often do. A dragon might appear in the countryside once every hundred years to burn down a castle before disappearing back under the mountain. Knights and adventurers who go looking for their treasure hoards often come up empty-handed. Beyond their wild cousins, two monumental, almost godlike dragons dominate the history and fate of Ares. One is the Dragon of Darkness, Kalkuriath, a monster which the Volgrax used to terrorize the realm. No one can say whether they summoned this creature from some other space, or whether he was merely a dragon who had slumbered and grown in size for far too long. Nevertheless, Kalkuriath spelled doom for the northern provinces. However, nearly two centuries ago the Amordran sacrificed their mortal forms to conjure the dragon that we call Seos, the bringer of silver flame, to destroy the Dragon of Darkness and save the realm. The Silver Champion has done so twice now, and Kalkuriath's broken corpse currently lies at the bottom of the sea. Despite his immense power, the Silver Dragon has no interest in lording over the realms of mortals. He rests at his shrine far to the north at the side of the old world tree, watching and waiting for his evil counterpart to rise again. Thanks for tuning in to the Chronicles of Iris 101. And thanks for all of your support and helping us raise the funds to exceed our Kickstarter goal. I'll be back in the next few days with another video, so stay tuned.